reading from PAP, Public Access Poetry. Our first guest, Jeffrey Cyphers Wright, is the third cousin of Orville and Wilbur. But being the black sheep of the family, he always tried to keep both feet on the ground. He is the head hard man of Hard Press, uh, head hard head, I should say, I guess. Uh, Jeffrey Wright. Thank you. <laughs> Slipping into darkness. Yesterday they shot Larry Flint out the window of a silver Buick. Today the steel mill is shut down in Wheeling and Weirton. Towns I lost mental cherries in, under the winged tutelage of a wild cousin, wound tight by the ultimate mainspring, only to be sprung to be brought up short at the shore of puberty and marry too quick, too bleak in the black apartments of a little college town. Today, the revolution started all over, cousin. Put your black coat back on. Bring that stiletto. Lead me behind the warehouse, by the creek again. Larry Flint will be there, holding on to a hole in his belly, laughing and smelling angelic as his wife's three-dimensional organ, blossoming in the trash. Down by the river, out on bail, on the list, into it, we were slipping into darkness and started glowing like Larry Flint struck with a spark of eternal friction. Make room for tomorrow, throw away today, make way. Today there's more to kill than antique time. Long time, hard time, high time, some say wrong time. Does anybody really care? Today they shot the steel mills in Larry Flint. They shut the causeway in Terre Haute and questioned pedestrians at night. Tonight, if it hurts, it must be working. America is for sale for $55. You get what you pay for. Tonight, they shoot the shit in Flint, Michigan. Main line. He told her, he meant it. She could have everything, everything. He would do anything to keep her high. The peasants revolted. The golf course separated them. They said hello across a gulf of green, calling them long distance, each to a booth, ghostly glowing, then in the night of the past. A red XKE wound past on Route 17. Swallows pocked the shy sky. She decided her red dress was a parachute and fell up forever. He took a cough drop from a statue and ate it. When a cloud blots the sun, he looks up and red spots based his sight, like cold turkey. From hillsides then, they stand erect as they can fiercer than all the billboards lighting puny messages by the black highways. Want to fight about it? Let's hear it again for the tribe in the hall. I thought I could tattoo a mouth on the wall by the stairs and feed at my lonesome rooms till the war came home. All the poets gushing in the crushed weeds of wild generals, afraid to have their faces breaked, lonely to leave the idea of light bulbs. I came here to forget. I came here to leave. I came here to sound out the whole of my days. Poet as nightmare. Poet as a one-man war. Woman in the dunes. Curator of the Jack Daniel Cirrhosis Foundation. Someone in a shower. Someone who's been to Boulder. Someone who can shut up in a tight spot. I came here to go home. Grunt, grunt. A continual deserter, much like Rambo. Just an old fool, crazy about words not fade away. The future belongs to no one. Still, Peter looks sexy in his red 50s jacket. He makes me want to revisit Yosemite in a black and white Kodak. A blonde in black crosses 6th Avenue headed west. The picture of the future isn't finished yet, the artist replies. Today I threw a bird away because it made me dream about outer space. Maggie and Jackie were aliens. The stars went out, on strike. I need more black, the artist replies. Then came the future raiders, armed with silent silver, yanking out chunks of the picture, returning them to the burning past. Give me shelter, time to fade away. <clears throat> Thank you. This, is, uh, this poem has little parentheses along the side, and uh, so I have to yank it out. So when I go like this and say a word, that, that's like on the side. I can hear you now. I can hear you. 
shit. Flush with the fringe. Old story. As in a groove, oiled continuum, running conjunct with the contingencies being occasioned. Style. No lurch of thought as in a train taking up its slack smacks me on the back door of oblivion's dressing room. Is there room? What is too large to inhabit the modus operandi? What by definition is inconceivable? This is the stuff of and by which the luxury of lunacy invades. Incongruity. The rose reaches for a fork, inviting tenderly a laugh. Plot. All roads lead to Rome, unless, of course, you're in Rome, which pinpoints the vast area of discrepancy through which we puny humans must wind our way. Scenery. Caffeine brilliance in early p.m., Sunday times in messy stack, dark words percolate in kitchen mud. The body. Surreptitiously dangerous, but not really exciting, sitting in dilapidated wicker chair on clean green rug, French doors, red hot sauce. What if this chair was electric, the hot chair, DC, but alternating, actually, perpendicular to personal harm, quote, the victimless crime. Plug yourself in, appliance envy, but what to plug in to who to mind, that is the question, and then who to ask, except Alice when she's 10 feet tall. Irony, when she looks at a color print of the wind hold still. Swamp, ready to be wasted in order to restore the body of a new order. The scale avails of you nothing. Take your grin and grow thin. What? Lost? Horror, chagrin. Raise the bid, wipe the slate, reveal pigment, go west, collaborate independently. Though going far, what gives? So very again, stranger in the homeland, bag of lumps protruding obtusely. Not the lady of the canyon, though two channels coming in, both bad reception. A failure to communicate, that's what we got here. Lost in a ozone again, kind of light-headed, heavy foot. Quote, what to live for, carved into adrenaline sculpture commando raids at dawn above Queens. Why not stay asleep, that's what I say, that. Volunteer to be an asymptote. Damp wit. Get out of that corner if you can. Immunity. In the factory of minutes, my only duty is to get by. Vague point. In an attempt to defy conception, struggling conceivably in brutal brainwaves believed to be contaminated, Gary said after nine hours hearing, he had plenty relay station enterprise, expanse formula, sand blasted onto the recipe folder backhand command. Um, back to back. The days run off like water saddles on wasted horses working for peanuts. I look for the flower of youth under the chestnut canopy at St. Mark's Church, accompanied by laser guitar beam drive. My friends stand at the mouth of Tunnel City, inviting backwards light to linger on a puff of reefer smoke, spiraling thoughtlessly into an anonymous snowfall. We kiss and curse, ragged lips and tunnel vision expiring every available incident with ravenous and exhausting bloodthirst. Making it hold water, another way to leak. Chronic glory and a guest pass to the dust. Bye, bye, bye. A song comes on. I know every word from when I was 12 or 13. The bacon whispers from the kitchen. I need someone to comfort me. Hunger, anger, irretrievable loss, morning shades pulse through my shrugging shoulders. Half the half-fried bacon slides down my throat as the words to this winsome tune spill up out of my mouth. A song from half my life ago, and here in the half-light of an anonymous day, no complacency comes to linger. Small comfort as the wind grips scuttling figures headed to various destinations that vary little. My destination is the West Village, a rendezvous with a poet and a cup of coffee. My destiny is quite another matter, not that it matters. Do what I have to, have to go. Kiss, kiss of death. <laughs> what we will build is a blast of love to lie in in the final interim. No more to follow us down, even flames of sure departure to jump away higher. 
Of all the fleet treasures set adrift at a trumpet's tone, one note to remain. A blast of love from past domains, a wave from above to lie down in. This is a translation of uh, Viejo, the United Fruit Company. After the trumpet sounded and everything was ready on earth, God divvied up his world among Coke, Anaconda, Ford, and other multinationals. The UF Co. bit off the juiciest part for itself, the core of my land, the tasty waste of America. They baptized their acquisition, the banana republics, and over the sleeping dead, and over the hyper heroes that will never sleep, their flags flapping stiffly, over all it set up a congress of buffoons. They stole the ticket to ride, crowned with Caesar's crown. They unleashed the lecherous, releasing the regime of flies. Flies Trujillos, flies Tacos, flies Carrillas, Mascas Martinez, flies Pinochet, flies Ubico, flies everywhere. Humid flies of jellified humility. Flies smashed on power, knocking over the myriad tombs. Circus flies, clever flies, flies clever in the flight of tyranny. Then the bloody flies of the fruit company came down to scoop up coffee and fruit, stuffing their fat boats that slip away like bowls holding the spoils of my drowning land. Meanwhile, in the sugary abyss of an anonymous port, an Indian plunges to his burial in the morning fog. A body unwound, a thing without name, some number tumbling, the fruit killing the branch, a branch spinning away from its fruit. Um, the nutrients of change. Somewhere down the line, row houses and travelers follow the stages of consciousness from an abandoned distance. Mildly pick up the pieces, move down the road, freeload, excess plural giant scope, leading sections of the living into funeral self-inflictions, sticky situations, genre of general cynicism, doctor basically motivated satisfying, ergo, etc. Take as directed, results immediately misleading programmed to swerve into curves of neuron trace dust. Somewhere down the line, bald tire, broken words, patched memory, gamblers and babies rely on garbage to travel. Okay, I got one more. This is the one I really wanted to read. Let's see, where is it? <laughs> it's called uh, One Big Party. Here it is. It hasn't all been one big party. Sometimes there were little gatherings, intimate occasions, interludes during the main course. Hungry for love and tax shelters, maintaining consciousness often, we weave a sidewalk from the material at hand to walk on by the waters of oblivion. Holding hands individually, saying boo to everyone, so far, this far down the line, still cooking. Burners on the blink like neon legends barbecuing their areas of continual street. Stoplights stuck on green, the bottom color. And Gary points out where Great Jones intersects Lesser Jones, establishing an equalizer of direction located consistently in the crosswalk. Always where Great Jones meets Lesser Jones, the Big Dipper refurbishes the Little Dipper, things run to a head. A head, a Nirvana savanna stretches in its sleep. Who will tie all the cans and shoes to the bumper of our wedding car speeding on into tomorrow's family? Who has come to drive on into the gray area ahead of the time by a hair? That was Jeffrey Wright. And our next reader is Bob Rosenthal who informs me that he's tired of secretarial work and wants to go back to housekeeping. Bob is such a devout non-sexist that I really believe the reports that he was angry with his wife when she became <laughs> pregnant rather than Bob. <laughs> Lies. He has, uh, I think, two books out. Lies About the Flesh, which is a book of poetry, and Cleaning Up New York, which is a book of Bob's and other people's fetishes. Bob goes and talks. Thank you.
Batman sexist. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, okay, well. Edison Towers. <clears throat> for Alice Notley. The blandishment of purple rose into the winter air like a cloud with thorns to project the viewer, move the flower over to release the leaf. The building of Empire State, a red and yellow bloom in the evening. The electricity conducts a current for me to think about you, the way you are plugged in. And after the many Scorpio bursts, we have Thanksgiving. In the new gray fox on bread and poetry, Philip Whalen, sure, the connection, or whatever you want to call it, is to music, as far as I can see, not necessarily to metric or to anything else, except as it relates to a musical experience, a musical feeling in the line happening between the words or happening as a poetic line. It's a musical shot for me. And now, as we turn to look at each other, the face is not strange, but intentions need to be reread. So points, as in the stock exchange, drop to grow out this daily minute. By black and white print, the score is increased, but the decor fell off the wall again. The weaver perplexedly strums his cane. The sound, his knuckles pop half to his heart, half to his ears. His mind sees the shape he wants to make. The connection to music winds up the inner canal. From this view at the corner, the middle period is an invitation, broad with terror, inflexible with faith, the high point of the betweens. We will never be done picking a language. Sometimes a person walks in your life like a two-story reflection across the street. Noon, Edison Towers, I see two of you, where before I saw only one. Now for another devoutly non-sexist work. A, a, prose, a prose piece uh, called Assay. Try, attempt, why not? Negative comes out positive. The alloy is midst the gray rock, and fool's gold steps too bold before the eye. Take the snowflakes in a quantity of air. What to balance opposite them? Punk music jumps into the collective void and shines out like the sun. Holy Icarus, says Bat Boy. Snow blows off the ledge, slightly rusting brick. At time, pearl and gem defy the scale perception neatly folding into nugget. The future is the subject to find out in small measurings. <laughs> no ecstasy is lounging on a divan just below the soil base. Snort air to balance the elements. A new age might say breathing is believing. In the shrinking marketplace, the free elements bear more weight. In the cantos, he could anticipate some non-interest bearing the ass as to say a helicopter like a propelled cloud heads upwind so there are more veins to tap flakes widely spliced the spectrum analyzer thus reflects the actual gold at the end of the rainbow it was always just part of the picture On this day birthday, from Mike, a small cloud stretches apart like white Turkish taffy. But no, it is the perception of continual motion toward. The navel point stretches to maximum with no possible end. Where in the Aquarian hide a person sees a person like to tie the cords of light to a graceful swing of confidence. Rachmaninoff vespers come out of your black head. Eyebrows beat the drum of your eye skin, and I feel faint at parties, though not to the floor did out the door go for guilt's imaginings in a hard glance. To realize to be gay 
doesn't mean you're straight or queer. The world is gay this day as you have borne it with you this quarter century to its mount, and though it bears the heavy failing of a father's invitation, a remembrance of things past is to always come, come quella nuvola, like that cloud. I cry, the wagon being the blue hall west, the star being the route straight to up, the boat crossing the pond, Articles of Federation abandoned, interestingly, to make everything constitutional. The rain splatters the gulls in a mild high fly. They soar to wind, master, current, jam, blackly spread at night. Blow your crumpet and dip it in milk. I work for a man and want his love, and so long as I work, my cry will be unborn. As the wind curves the planet, as the currents gel with fish, I would break in three, leaving part on the floor as under the rug, and the dirt swept there will cling like the untoward lover shuffles his emotion. Stiff it up to my master, will he delicate take a mind to care? The long, thin, brown looks. C3, hail the millennium, whoops. His man is seeking to dismiss me, for I see with my ears, feel with my toes. My five senses have no sense. My navel is music thumping to my heart. My cries echo in my empty chamber. The judge there is laughing, but he gets no vacation. I only cry for form, G, reason, O, beauty, D, peace. I want to bring the ellipse down on the mat and wrestle the giant wing, drink in the tense sinew and comet tail. My baby towers sing their syllables for me to lasso them in the round and toss their lessons to ground zero. For to build from aught to sound again, I wonder for accuracy, truth, what pictures can be strained through the seeds, now futures. What is the right depth to plant my love? Close to the top, I can walk, catch the sun's outline, jump to heaven, or deeper under I can stalwartly grow like faith till I cry, yelp for the light, and it finds it strong and wide, the rivets of heaven banging by girds, nowhere too deep to plant, no song out of the ordinary propels the celeste sub Adam. Rough the grain, mirror puddle to jump through. Love, I cry, to be out on the quiet hill, circumscribed without by desire. A nestling, I tear the tufts that inch forever the song, bliss. The rage, ragging, raging nerves prepare to swell. Like the moon revolves to full, being equal is giving off the light as tears. Three poems that come in a sequence. Afternoon of a Fawn. The gypsy cab came to a stop front of the pizza parlor. De BC got out, ordering a wheat straw calzone under the sun. Why should we wait for your music? Does the brook babble? The baby fat you receive will be carried off. The kingdom of ants who strike the blue blazers more curious than the proceedings inside the temple. When the ants play the blades of green grass, the earthworms dance the wooly dance. They dance to eat the tartar sauce. Death. They wiggle bait. The right thickness is what lures music into life. The bubbles that constant escape attention divorce the lines around them as you may point your cigar that way to conduct an ant orchestra. Subnominal continent, you drive the river, you drive the roots, you carry the mail, you write the check. Who's up? This is a bust. The afternoon approach. She reads on bed by light behind clouds. It will never turn again quite the same color to try and answer his reproaches irony. Forward to noon, a midnight moon yellow thought about wiping their hands in blood of a thousand breakfast. 
The coldest light between heating seasons pulls down his socks like oatmeal salad. He likes to knock over the unknown fodder. She sings like the elbow in love wrapped around a loved head, a time and place eternal created and lived there. Forearm to hold onto with hand of world work. He says, hey, how do you get this down? Is there a release or do you just push it down? She says, you just push it down. Afternoon in afternoon. Water music fill the blue tub sky. Your gel pickles the white bone out. The measured clip lays mounting on the floor. Snippets notate the battered sun on floor. Only as day is done do we know the score, how hard the eye thrives to tear it down. All before him, a smoking backdrop. Pretty crowded, they walk through cardboard, heavenly, Tub black and blue holds us on line, bright, wet apparel. Button laboratories buzzing silence. Oh, she hears trumpets, and still she sleeps, unruffled anymore from within a sprouted rose. I know you in the valley by your sharpest thorn. Three minuti. They said they saw her crying. It is because their ears don't hear. Their want is to cope, like drowning the lifesaver and listening intent in their rubber wetsuits and masks and formulas then bubble up to topside and crackle as paragraphs black the stair stops to airing. Where so bold tales are told no print can heed. The reports break into vision, a mild heart attack, or one so young. If may bend, yet back, and bow, and better, ring. The snow may fall in the white of your eye, and nature trumpet the lonely path home with plantings poured, sound wound. Two quick ones, maybe. Breath of Fire for Ravi Singh. My back is wholly whacked. All that goodness led me to hurt my liver. On purpose, wake to a back that tells me how everything could hurt individually. Take it so easy when you rehabilitate. Like a blue pool in a cloud cover, you point your finger through it and it pulls you over. So cram the systems, full steam ahead, tequila, salsa, tangere, wild turkey, thanksgiving this breath of fire. Alan, give me speed to do it all, that's what I need. Boys, pass the reef so I can hear music. And I'd like to end on a song. Maybe you can help me on the chorus of this, you know it. You, you too, Ms. <coughs> Ms. Moral Devout. It's called Thanks for the Check. Gather round, all ye poets, bad news to you I'll tell of how the grant getters came in here to dwell. Which side are you on? Which side are you on? Yeah. Which side are you on? Which side are you on? Because they get their dough from Washington, Albany, and City Hall. They think they all wear halos, to which we should all bow. Oh, which side are you on, boys? Which side are you on? Which side are you on? Which side are you on? Are you on? I'd rather get them than give them. Are we done? How much more time we have? Are we saying good night? Yes? No? Wrap it Maybe? up with a final, Wrap it up with a final <coughs> eulogy for the uh, Texas. <laughs> Describe your feelings walking on Rivington Street. So, uh, oh, yeah. Which side are you on? <laughs> are we almost done? Good night? Yes? No? Maybe? They're asleep Don't at the wheel. Don't all answer at once. Are we asleep at the wheel? <laughs> Does the air go to work? I think I'm saying good night. Next week we have...